Chelsea. Moresca says, no, 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 we can't compete with Manchester City and Arsenal. <laughs> He's indulging in the dark arts. They've been good going forward. I mean, defensively, yeah, at times you're like, okay, then. But we spoke about Liverpool maybe being better suited uh, to playing away from home and some of Chelsea's performances on the break. Certainly at Wolves have been outstanding. So they play Sunday against Nottingham Forest. Have you liked what you've seen so far to the extent that they could have a serious say in the title race without winning it for Chelsea? I'm still not sure that Chelsea will have a serious say in, okay. in the title race. I, I, I will say, though, I have loved everything I've seen from Chelsea. Yeah. And, and credit to Maresco. He inherited an absolute mess. And I, I thought he was going to hide into nothing coming in there. That he was he was going to be a lamb to, to the slaughter. Um, but I, I think that everything he's done... Listen, and, and you can make a lot about, you know, ostracizing players. And, you know, we all aren't, aren't going to feature. And, uh, and this is the squad I'm working with. And I'm going to put some of these highly experienced, highly talented uh, internationals to train with the kids because they aren't a part of my plans. Uh, that had huge potential to backfire. But mariska has got it right. I, I, I have to say. Um, to the point where he can make 11 changes for, for last night's game yeah. and, and they win, win it. Um, listen, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm hugely impressed with the job that he continues to do. Um, he's getting a tune out of Nicholas Jackson, which I, I did not see coming. Um, everything he's done just seems to, seems to have worked. No, that being said, I, I, don't, I still don't think that Chelsea are in the conversation around City and Arsenal. I don't think they're in the conversation around Liverpool. Um, maybe they... they do well enough to finish top four. Maybe they're in that conversation, along with a few others, I, I hasten to add, including the likes of Aston Villa and Spurs. Um, but you, you've got to be impressed with, with how things have started for, for Chelsea so far this season. One final question for you, and you, you've kind of preempted it a little bit there. Chelsea or Aston Villa? They're both on 13 points right now. Chelsea have got the Thursday night games where they can rotate and still win games. Villa have got the brilliant games at the Champions mm. League against Bayern and the likes. Who finishes higher this season, Chelsea or Villa? I am going to lean Villa still. And, and, yeah. But say, saying that, I, I, as much as I kind of bragged earlier about um, I, I chose Arsenal to finish top four before a ball was kicked and I kind of still feel that way. I don't think I had Aston Villa in the top four. Reason being, Champions League exertions yeah. uh, and an expanded field at that. And and you're right, Chelsea have the luxury of, of being able to rotate, as as we saw last night. Uh, but I, for for all my praises around Chelsea and Maresca, I I just. I'm in love with Aston Villa and the job that Unai Emery continues to do. So maybe I'm, I'm following my head uh, or I'm following my heart more than my head in seeing Aston Villa above Chelsea.